minimum you can go for but here in nigeria i don't know about any other countries if you're in other countries where the sun is not you know it's not very on the high side it's not very high in your country maybe the 30 spf is okay for you but here in nigeria you need to go beyond that hello guys it's nami secret here again and welcome back to my channel i apologize for not uh, uploading video in a while now that is because my phone is bad uh, i use my phone to record and presently i'm even using my brother's phone to record this video because um it's been a while and i want to say a very big thank you to all my viewers thank you guys so much throughout all that time that i could not record any video i was looking at the an analytics of my channel on the laptop and it, and the views just keep increasing now we have over 1400 views thank you, so, thank you so much so please if you are new to this channel kindly look around feel free to check around check my past videos drop a comment and do not forget to subscribe like and share so what i want to talk about today is sunscreen i want to talk about sunscreen today so sunscreen or sunblock you might have heard a lot of things or maybe not so much about sunscreen what they do their benefits and the stuff but what are the benefits of using sunscreen or sunblock the benefit is that it helps you to stay longer it prolongs the time that you stay in the sun let's say you have a beach day you're you're on the beach and you know you can't just go to the beach for one hour or 30 minutes and you're out if you need to stay for a very long time in the sun then you need sunscreen even if you don't need to stay very long in the sun you still need sunscreen you need sunscreen you know imagine spending lots of money on that skincare product that expensive skincare product that everybody's talking about you're using it and at the end of the day because you do not protect your skin because you do not use sunscreen the, the sun we just you know keep frustrating the efficacy of your skincare product and that can be really 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 frustrating so after everything after all your skincare routine do not forget to use your sunscreen because it is very very it is very very important i'm going to post a picture right here of um of a of a person that used the sunscreen and you know they captured they took that picture under the uv light you're going to see the difference when the person is wearing a sunscreen and where the person does not and there's this other picture of, of an old woman you know on the internet about a few days ago she has been using sunscreen for about 20 years on her face alone she did not use it on her neck and you could actually tell the difference you could tell the difference from you know the face and the neck you could tell the difference because the face is okay but the neck so please and please you know the importance of sunscreen or sunblock cannot be overemphasized and the negligence that like people do not most people do not you know most people do not they do not take this thing very uh, serious they don't take it very importantly but trust me trust me to protect your skin from sun damage you need your sunscreen to protect your skin you know to even you know help your skincare products you need sunscreen on this that are sunny on days that are not sunny you need your same sunscreen if you are stepping out you need your sunscreen the sun lifts your mood and apart from that you just need to go out there so you need your sunscreen all the time how to use sunscreen uh, this is how you use your sunscreen you use your sunscreen 20 minutes before you step out because it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for your sunscreen to work on your body before you step out so you need to apply your sunscreen about 15 minutes or 20 minutes before you step out i'm going to go to that like example of sunscreen that i've used before and the thing and the ones that i'm using presently i'm going to give you like and they are all budget friendly <laughs> budget friendly so now after applying your sunscreen 15 or 20 minutes before you step out you need to reapply every two hours when you are out in the sun you need to reapply your sunscreen every two hours be because if you do not if you do not reapply you know the one that you applied previously would have worn out so you need to you know add another one up again you know without even feeling the sensation or the burning of sun on your skin the uv areas affect your skin even without you feeling it so you still need to use your sunscreen protect your skin from sun damage and it can even reduce you know uh the cause of skin cancer when you protect your skin from sun damage now let us go to how to choose a sunscreen now the minimum of a sun the minimum sunscreen that you can choose is spf 30. and what does spf mean spf means sun protection factor in your sunscreen so the minimum you can use is 30 spf or spf 30 but that is okay that's the minimum you can go for but here in nigeria 
I don't know about any other countries. If you are in other countries where the sun is not, you know, it's not very on the high side, it's not very high in your country, maybe the 30 SPF is okay for you. But here in Nigeria, you need to go beyond that because the sun here is not playing. <laughs> <laughs> the sun here is not playing. You need to go beyond that. So, uh, SPF 30 protects your skin at 97% and why uh, SPF 50 protects it at 98%. And note one thing. No, S no sunscreen. No sunscreen gives, gives 100% protection. Take it or leave it. Even if it is SPF 100. No sunscreen gives 100% protection. Another thing that you can... You should look out for another thing you should look out for when choosing a particular sunscreen is the ingredient it is the ingredient in your sunscreen the key ingredients the major ingredients that protect your skin the major ingredient in sunscreen that makes it to protect your skin from sun damage is zinc oxide and avobenzone those two ingredients so if your sunscreen does not have those two ingredients girl so your sunscreen might have zinc oxide or avobenzo you might not have the two it is okay it is good but if your sunscreen does not contain these two key ingredients because that's the major ingredient that helps the sunscreen to protect your skin from sun damage so you need also need to look out for that and make sure your sunscreen says broad spectrum that means you can apply it all over your body on any part of your body then it's going to protect your skin from sun damage if it does not say broad spectrum two types of sunscreen the organic and the inorganic the inorganic is also known as the physical and the organic is also called the chemical so what is the two difference between these types of sunscreen is that the inorganic or the physical forms a barrier on your skin it forms a barrier on your skin so that when you use it the skin does not penetrate the sun does not penetrate into your skin it does not but the chemical or the inorganic it goes into your skin it is absorbed into your skin and you know it's it's just like a lotion it's it is absorbed into your skin like a lotion and it protects your skin like from underneath unlike the organic and physical that just protects your skin on the surface it just forms a barrier so that the sun cannot penetrate either of the two any one you choose is okay anyone you decide to go for is okay and one more thing all skin color all skin color needs sunscreen i know some people be like black don't crack unless you smoke it black do crack black will crack it's, in fact it's with scatter <laughs> so you need to you need to regardless of your skin color you're fair you're dark oh i'm black the sun has little no effect on my skin girl you need you need you need your sunscreen regardless of your skin color be it you are black you are dark you are caramel you are chocolate you are fair you are milk snow white i don't know you need sunscreen on your skin sensitive skin or if you want to choose a sunscreen a sunscreen product for your kid then you need to see dermatologist for recommendation so the dermatologist will prescribe which sunscreen is best for your skin type if you have sensitive skin or if you're buying for a kid you know skin kids skin are very very delicate you don't want to mess up their skin so you might want to check with your dermatologist to know which type you should go for in all in all wear protective clothes wear protective clothes this is the um sunscreen product i'm using presently i hope you guys can see this very well yeah that is it it is a uh, banana boat banana boat sunscreen i've been on this sunscreen for uh for some time now and i like the fact that it's you know it's very very small i can just put this in my purse everywhere i go you know and uh it says ultra protect and it said broad spectrum sunblock see what i said broad spectrum and it is spf 80 and it does not leave a white cast one of the reasons i loved it it does not leave a white cast on my skin see see you can hardly tell that i just rubbed something it does not leave a white scat on my skin and above all it is cheap it is really 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 cheap and there's this other one i'm going to post a picture the name is uh photo dam i'm going to post the picture right here so yeah you guys can see it. it's also it's also cheap and it's spf 100 i love that one also because you know it comes in this the it, it comes in a very brown color the sunscreen itself comes in a very brown color you know so for caramel skin you know or your fair skin you know when you rub it it's just like you, you're rubbing a foundation on your face it just blends with your skin like that you know nobody would even know you rub anything 
on your skin so that's it guys i hope with this video i've been able to help someone out there so make sure you use the sunscreen if you have not gotten one please get today and do not forget to drop your comments in the comment section let me know the first time you heard about sunscreen or whatsoever you have heard about sunscreen in the past i would love your suggestions i would love your comments so i'm now miss secret and i'll see you in my next video bye